Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of How to Make Damn Good Drinks. Uh, one of the things that's been fun for me about making this series is um, discovering new drinks, uh, in some cases that I never tried before, or like today's drink or this week's drink, something I'd never even heard of before. Um, so this week we're making the Brandy Old Fashioned. So um, if you're watching this video and you know me well, you may know that I'm a pretty big fan, uh, like my hero Don Draper, of the classic Old Fashioned. Um, I had never heard of this drink before, but I found the recipe, I was intrigued, did a little bit of research into history, and the history of it sort of uh, was intriguing as well. So the story kind of goes like this. Back in the 1890s, there was a blight in Europe, and it became very hard in America to get brandy. So um, as often happens, there was a company that sought to take advantage of it, uh, Corbell, and they decided to start making brandy in America for the first time. So to sort of market and publicize their new product, they decided to introduce a new drink at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. And it was this drink, the Brandy Old Fashioned. Um, and um, what happened was they were hoping it would become sort of like a nationwide craze and people would really love it. That didn't happen, but it did become a craze in one state in the union, and that was Wisconsin. And the reason, as I understand it, is that a lot of Germans from Wisconsin traveled to the Chicago World's Fair because back in the day it was a really big deal. Um, and then they discovered this drink and apparently uh, Germans or people of German descent really love brandy. So this became a big hit and they took it back home. And to this day, uh, this is called a brandy uh, old fashioned. It's also called the Wisconsin old fashioned. It's also called a Milwaukee old fashioned because it's really big in those places. And apparently, um, some of the things that they do with this drink are they garnish it with everything from olives to mushrooms to Brussels sprouts. Uh, they also do a couple of interesting things with soda, which I'll talk about uh, in a minute. Um, like I mentioned in the text below, I'm dedicating this to a few friends of mine who are big old fashioned fans. I'm hoping that you guys like this. And if you do like it and you make it, please post a video, uh, put it on the comment thread below. So this one's for my buddy Andy Bonker. Andy, I miss you. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, my good friend, Terry Minogue. Terry, same thing, hope you're doing well. And my boy Tio Milty out in Colorado. So let's jump into it. Um, so this is basically an old fashioned. Uh, the primary difference is that uh, we're gonna use brandy instead of whiskey. And at the very end, we're gonna garnish this or we're gonna top this with a little bit of soda. So apparently in Wisconsin, what they do is if you want it sweeter, you throw a little Sprite on top. If you want a little more sour, you put a little squirt soda on top. I don't have squirt soda and I'm not going to buy it. Um, or if you want it to be a little more neutral, you go with club soda and that's what we're going to do. So the way you make this drink is you take a, an orange and you cut off a nice little chunk of orange like this. Uh, and then you take a couple of cherries and you put them into your mixing glass. If you don't have a mixing glass, you can just use any glass or jar. Good. And then we're just going to muddle, we're going to muddle this really thoroughly. We're going to pound this. The one thing you don't want to do though is pound the, uh, the peel of the orange because that releases sort of like bitter acid. So just really pulverize the cherry and then the you know, fleshy part of the orange. There we go. All right, now we're going to put in half an ounce of simple syrup. Put in three dashes of Agnostro bitters. Okay. We're going to put in two ounces of brandy. You can use brandy or cognac. I'm using Hennessy. That's the only thing I have. There we go. Then we're going to add in our ice. We give us a nice stir. And the stir is to mix it up, and also, like I've said in, in earlier videos, uh, stirring is just a way to make it colder. If you ever ordered a martini, you'll see martini is basically just gin or vodka that's been stirred really well. All right. And then finally, like I said, the way they do this in Wisconsin is they top it with some sort of uh, carbonated beverage. So we're just going to go club soda. We're going to put one ounce of club soda on the top. Give us another good stir. And that's it. We're just going to pour the whole thing in. You could strain this in if you want. I'm just going to pour the whole thing in. I kind of like having the, uh, 
you know, to destroy fruit in there. Um, like I said, I've worked on this a little bit. I've tried it a couple different ways. It's really good. If you're a fan of the old fashioned, I pretty much guarantee you're gonna like this. So again, my boys, Andy, Terry, Milton, hope you guys enjoy it. Brandy old fashioned, enjoy.